اهلا وسهلا فيكم مشاهدي روتانا موتورز، طبعا امتدادا لتغطيتنا لمعرض طوكيو الدولي للسيارات، رجعنا لكم بعده تقارير من ضمنها هالتقرير اللي هو عباره عن لقاء مع الاستاذ ماثيو كالاهور اللي هو مدير عام وحده التخطيط في لكزس الدوليه. مستر ماثيو كالاهور، اتس ا بليجر تو هافينج يو هير اون اور شو سير. اه اتس جريت تو اكشلي بي اون يور شو. ماثيو فيرست اوف اول يو ار ذا لكزس ديفلوبمنت مانجر، اوكي؟ بلاننج بلاننج مانجر، يا سو let us introduce the audience a little bit about what you exactly do. Sure. So what my division does is, is that they look into the future trends in the marketplace all around the world and they say, where, are the, where is the market going? What do people want? And then we put together sort of proposals that actually would see vehicles to fit those various segments. Okay. So we work in that measure to basically come up with what should our future look like in regards to Lexus on that side of the business. We noticed that starting from probably 2011, all the brands, the shape from outside and inside the concept have changed like 180 degrees. Mm. What's your direction regarding that? Basically one of the key cornerstones of where we're going is what we term design. Mm -hmm. And so we're really trying to distinguish ourselves in regards to design. Okay. When I say design, most people think that I'm referring specifically to only the external design. Mm -hmm. But that's not the case. But firstly, let me cover off the external design. Okay. We have a separate division altogether, from, completely separate from Toyota, which specializes only in Lexus design. Amazing. And they look across the four-wheel drives, the SUVs, and also the sedans. And so within that, we're striving to actually establish the Lexus look. And what we're prepared to do is, is just to really separate ourselves. And what you've seen over the last two years, and what you're actually going to see tonight, mm -hmm. is the RC, which utilises the spindle grille and other styling cues, okay. which are separating Lexus into the future. Mm -hmm. But even apart from that, design actually goes into the engine, design goes into the handling, design goes into the internal appointments, and the entire creature comforts of the vehicle. So we're really aiming to actually be style leaders in that design-related area. Amazing. Well, since you've mentioned the RC, let us talk a little bit about that. What's the vision regarding the RC for the future? The RC is a sports coupe. Two years ago, we actually showed the LFCC, okay. which was a concept car. This car that you're about to see tonight is the actual production version that will be coming out into the various markets around the world. Well, uh, let's jump from the RC to the LFA. You only produced 500 vehicles worldwide. Yeah. Why is that? It's an amazing car. That's right. And what we found was, was that at the particular price and the market size itself, we believed that 500 was the optimal amount that we should be producing. Any more, we would have flooded the market. And you don't really want to do that. What you want to do is, is keep it sort of around about that 99% supply rate. Mm -hmm. And so that was really our determination. Given the price, given the people that were going to buy it, and the number of those people worldwide, 500 is about the optimal quantity. And in actual fact, 500 is proven to be right, uh, right on the spot. OK, there was a car that we saw in Riyadh during the Axis Motor Show. It had a lot of eyes on it. It was from Lexus the LFCC, mm. but there was no information about it. Mm. People were just asking, tell us about the car, what? it's nothing, it's just for the show. Sure. What is the LFCC? That, uh, it's actually not the LFCC, it's the, it's the high-end sports coupe. And what this is, is um, a step up from the what you're about to see, the RC. It's a very high-end sports coupe. Originally, that was done actually purely as a design and style exercise. Mm -hmm. But the reaction from people around the world, when we have actually shown that, has been so strong that it's actually now moved into our actual planning areas to think, should we actually be moving forward in actually producing this vehicle into the years coming up in front of us? So it's moved from simply being a style and design concept into something that we're actively considering now. Well, uh, this is the idea about concept cars. It gives an idea about what is the company's future uh, direction. but. Since you're thinking actually about producing this car, if you guys actually did it, when can we see it actually in the market? Uh, it'd be a few years away at the moment, you'd have to say after 2015. Wow. Mm. But you've got to bear in mind that production cycles and development cycles on vehicle, it, it's not like making, for instance, um, a chocolate bar or something like that. There's mm -hmm. years. And frankly, what we're trying to do with design is, is, is to uh, some of those shapes, whilst they may look good in the actual concept, to actually physically produce them inside the factories is actually very, very difficult. So you have to change even the machinery 
not just the tooling, mm. but the actual machinery technology yeah. to produce some of those sharp creases that you're seeing in vehicles such as the IS mm -hmm. um, and those types of things. As well as that, we have to redesign suspension towers. It's a massive development job. And many hundreds of people are actually involved in it. Mm -hmm. That's why it takes so long to actually get a new vehicle well, to market. Let me tell you something to end this interview. Uh, some of the Saudi persons who were in the Axis Motor Show, when he saw the car, he said, this thing, it's not a car, it's a space shuttle. <laughs> Matthew, it was a pleasure having you in our show again. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. إذن مشاهدينا تابعنا معكم لقاءنا مع الأستاذ ماتي كالهور اللي تحدث لنا أكثر عن توجهات لكزس من خلال مركباته وحدثنا أكثر عن السيارة اللي نالت الاهتمام في معرض أكسس الدولي اللي هي لكزس سي سي احنا وصلنا إلى نهاية التقرير لكن بوتانا موتورز لسه ما انتهى تابعونا بعد الفاصل اهلا وسهلا فيكم مشاهدين متابعي برنامج روتانا موترز على روتانا خليجيه، طبعا احنا خلال زيارتنا لليابان وطوكيو بالتحديد جتنا فرصه انه التقينا مع نائب الرئيس التنفيذي لشركه لكزس العالميه الاستاذ مارك تيمبلن، اخذنا مع هذا الحوار اللي تعرفنا فيه اكثر عن سياسه الشركه، توجهاتها المستقبليه وخطوط انتاجها الجديده. مستر مارك، ويلكم اون ذا شو. ثانك يو فور هافينج يو. هافينج يو. سير، فيرست اوف اول الاو مي تو اسك يو ذيس بيرسونال كويستشن. You're an American citizen working for Lexus. Why not GMC or Cadillac or Ford? Oh, interesting. Why Lexus? Interesting. Okay. As a matter of fact, I worked for another automaker many years ago. Mm -hmm. And 25 years ago, when we were preparing to launch the Lexus brand in the United States, I was offered the opportunity to come to Lexus. Mm -hmm. I went and I studied the first LS400 that the, the Lexus brand launched in the United States 25 years ago. And I was so blown away by the quality and the refinement of the LS. Mm -hmm. I knew that Lexus was going to be successful, and I left the other automaker to come to work for Lexus. Okay, between the American industry and the Japanese industry regarding the automotives, mm -hmm. what's the difference? Well, I think that whether it's the Americans or any others, I think that 25 years ago when we launched the Lexus brand, nobody was really um, working hard to build great quality, or to provide a great customer experience, taking care of owners. Okay. And that's something that we did in the very beginning. And our business model was all predicated on building the best quality cars and providing the best customer experience that anybody had ever seen. And it worked. You know, those first people that came and bought the first Lexus cars 25 years ago, they went and they told all their friends and their family and their coworkers sure. about the cars. And those people came and they bought our cars and they became advocates and they went and told all their friends and family and coworkers. Sure. And, and the snowball just kept rolling. It was like they became our marketing department and our sales force, and they did all the hard work for us. Okay, um, since uh, we're a Middle East broadcast channel, let us uh, focus a little bit about the Middle mm. East. Um, Lexus is offering a high luxurious cars, mm. but yet in the region there are huge and tough competitors like the Germans, mm. example BMW or Mercedes. How does Lexus see the competition there? Mm. Well, I think... Our competition all over the world, probably people associate us with the German brands, Mercedes and BMW, more than anything else. Yeah. Um, and that's true in a lot of markets. But when they try to do one thing, we try to be different. Okay. You know, we've always tried to do something different, differentiate ourselves from the competition. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in the Middle East, we've been very successful with SUVs, for instance. True. We launched the SUV craze in, in, in luxury with the LX and the GX and the first car-based SUV and the RX. Mm -hmm. It's been wildly popular around the world. And now, this new global trend of SUVs becoming popular, everybody else is jumping on that True. SUV bandwagon. But we think because we have such a heritage in SUVs that it bodes well for us in the Middle East going forward. There was a motor show in Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia, called Access Motor Show. And your agent in Saudi Arabia, Abdul Latif Jamil, they viewed a car called Lexus CC, but they refused to give us any information about it. It well, was just there. Was the, the, the LFCC? Yeah. The LFCC 
was a concept car that we showed in the Paris Motor Show last year mm -hmm. that eventually becomes the RC that we're going to show here at the Tokyo Motor Show the day after tomorrow. Oh, really? Yes. So uh, do that was when do we expect this car might be available in Saudi Arabia or in the Gulf countries? Well, it varies by market, so mm -hmm. I'll have to go back and look at the, the launch dates for okay. every market around the world. Mm -hmm. But they'll be able to tell you more about that after the Motor Show reveal okay, in a couple perfect. of days. What's your plan to penetrate the American market with Lexus? No, it's interesting. We never set out in the U.S. to be a volume brand, mm -hmm. to sell huge volume. Okay. All we cared about in the beginning was providing great quality and taking care of customers better than anyone else. Mm -hmm. And as a result of doing all the right things, we grew to be the biggest volume brand in the U.S. for 11 years uh, in the luxury space. Now, when the global economic decline took place in 2008 and 2009, and then we had earthquake and tsunami and we lost yeah. production, we kind of lost that title. But it was never important to us to be the biggest volume. It was more important to us to be better than everyone else at quality, refinement, and customer experience. Mm -hmm. And that's still our goal today. Now we're growing on a global basis. You know, part of the reason that I'm here is to try to teach the rest of the world what we've done successfully in the United States over okay. that 25-year period of time. And we started to become a true global brand, I say, about eight years ago when we launched the brand in Japan and China for the first time. And now we are truly behaving like, uh, like a, a global brand mm -hmm. instead of a U.S.-based brand. Well, Mark, uh, for the last question, um, usually the people in the Gulf countries don't get the chance to sit with the vice president for Lexus. So I'm going to give you a moment to speak a word to them. Oh, great. Okay. Well, the one thing that I would like to say to everybody in the Middle East is thank you for your loyalty to our brand. The Middle East is one of the big five markets for us in the world. So when we think of Lexus, we think of the U.S. and Japan and China and Russia and Middle East in our top five markets. And we've been tremendously successful there. Please go in and see what our retail partners do. They know how to take care of customers <laughs> better than anyone in the world. Mark Templin, executive um, vice president for Lexus International. Thank you so much for your time, and we hope to see you soon. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. إذن مشاهدينا كان هذا اللقاء اللي سويناه مع الأستاذ مارك سنتلن اللي هنا الرئيس التنفيذي لليكزس العالمية تحدثنا فيها كثير عن خطوط إنتاج لكزس وخططها المستقبلية تكلمنا كمان عن توجهات لكزس في منطقة الشرق الأوسط وكمان عن خططها الاقتحام للسوق الأمريكية الأستاذ مارك كمان وجه لكم كلمة يشكركم فيها على دقتكم لليكزس وأكيد راح نرجع نلتقي بس يمكن مو موسم هذا يكفي مواسم قادمة مشاهدينا إحنا وصلنا معكم إلى ختام حلقتنا هالليلة من روتانا موتورز أكيد معد راح جدد الأسبوع الجاي ويوك جدد تغطيات أكثر كل تأكيد ومتاهة أكثر تسمحون على خير